How are you today? I'm coming up here, a teacher of Bandos Pena International School. Today we are going to continue our online classes. I hope you are all doing well. And we will start with a review and just follow me on the whiteboard. This uh, review at Unit 2, page 19. Review, Unit 2, page 19. Let's read the instructions together. Read and circle. Read and circle. So it's about the period and the question mark, as we've learned already. So there are five different examples. These examples are not in your book, but different, but the same examples to help you understand the lesson more. So we will start with uh, number one. Where are you from? Where are you from? Is it a period or a question mark? Where are you from? Sanud, please. Uh, it's a question mark. Thank you. Well done, Sanud. So, after reading, then you find the correct answer. Then you circle. Where are you from? It's a question. So here it is. Uh, next one to Bonlin, number two. Read together with me. Let's play soccer. Let's play soccer. Period or question mark, Bolin? It's a period. Well done, Bolin. Well done. Excellent. Period. Next to Omdara. Give me the book. Give me the book. Is it a period or a question mark? That is a period. Well done, Umdara. Sit down, number four. Sit down. David, sit down. Full stop or period or question mark? Period. Thank you, David. So, it's period. And the last one, to try pick. Try pick, number five. Read together. Can you speak, Kamai? Can you speak, Kamai? Question or period? Yes, I think. Question. Well done. So I will circle the question for you. Can you speak, Kamai? So this is our review for today. And let's read together. Read number one. Loudly. Where are you from? Where are you from? Two. Let's play soccer. Let's play soccer. Give me the book. Number three. Give me the book. Sit down. Sit down. Can you speak, Kamai? Can you speak, Kamai? So this is the end of our review. Is there any question? I hope you have understood all. So we will begin with our new lesson just now. So please pay attention and look on the whiteboard for the new lesson. New lesson is at Unit 2. Build up the sentences. Build up the sentences. So pay attention and see how we are going to build up the sentences. So, first one, number one, is the correct sentence. So all the sentences from number one to number four should be the same as the first sentence, which is, the window is a circle. So when you look at number one, the window is a, so circle is missing. Here, yes, circle is missing. So the sentence is incomplete. So to make it complete, we need to add 
circle to it. So that is how we call that is why we call it burn up the sentences. Build up sentences. So all the sentences we will build it up. So number one, circle is missing. So I will write circle here. Now it's complete. The window is a circle. Number two, the window is dash dash. How many words are missing in this? We have two. A and circle. So A and circle are not in this sentence. So we need to build it up. We need to find this is a, and then circle. Yeah, now it's complete. The window is a circle. Number three, the window dash, dash, dash. So how many words are missing in this? We got three. We got, it's a, it's a circle. It's a circle. It's missing from this sentence. So we have to build it up. So we need is. A. Circle. Now the sentence is complete. The window is a circle. So number four. There is nothing in number four. So no word, no word is here. So we miss the window is a circle. This sentence is missing. So number four is a blank space. So we need to build it up. So we need what? The. We need the. Then we need window also. We need is. We need a. We need circle. Now it's completed. So this is how we build up the sentences. So let's read again. The window is a circle. 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 So we need to use the same sentence at number one to build up one to four. You don't need to change the circle or put different shape or triangle or diamond. Someone will write the window is a diamond or the window is a rectangle. That is incorrect. So this is how you should do it. Any question? Okay, if no question, we move on to lesson B. Lesson B, unscrabble the sentence. So all these sentences are incorrect. So we have to put it in order. So I'm going to teach you how to put these sentences in order. First, if you have a pencil, yes, if you want to be sure, just find how to put this sentence in the correct form. So we have S A blackboard, the rectangular. So you can do like this. You take number one as the one. The, then you take the blackboard, number two. Then we take the verb is three. Then we take a as four. So the blackboard is five, is rectangle. So when you number it like this, then you, you can write it in order. 
and, and you read. After reading, you start writing it in order. So now I'm going to write this sentence in order. And one is there. So number number six is full stop period. So, so there. And number two, class, you all tell me together. Okay, the blackboard you said. Number three class is well done. Is number four A. Okay. Number five rectangle. Well done. Number six period or full stop. Then you can erase, use pencil, you can erase the uh, numbers again to make your work clean. Use an eraser and erase it. So this is how. So the whole class, read it with me together. The blackboard is a rectangle again. The blackboard is a rectangle. Again, the blackboard is a rectangle. So, see, it's a rectangle. So, do you have any question? Any question? Yeah, if no question, I'll say this is the end of the class, the e learning class. Thanks for your time and thanks for your attention. See you in the next class. Goodbye. Thanks for watching my video. If you want more videos and more lessons, please like Facebook page Bandos Peña International School or YouTube channel Salah Bandos Peña. Okon Jumreplier.